In this vlog, we're at Lysfjord, a breathtaking fjord in southwestern Norway, known for its dramatic landscapes and towering granite cliffs. This natural wonder was shaped by glaciers during the last ice age and is home to some famous landmarks. So join us as we explore this awe-inspiring scenery. the channel and day three of our Norway cruise. You join us as we approach Stavanger. Now we've been to Stavanger three or four times. Every time it's been really consistent. It rained and it rained. Someone's always said that the last time that they came to Stavanger they had brilliant sun but we've never experienced it. Let's hope today bucks the trend. It's overcast at the moment but not raining. So for the last couple of days, we've been getting used to the ship. Now that's been quite a lot of exploring and finding our feet, as it's very different from the Solstice class ships that we've been on before. We weren't sure if we were going to like this style of ship, but now we're on it and we're getting used to it, we find that we actually quite like it. Whilst there's nothing quite like a familiar cruise ship, because you just know your way around, it's nice to actually experience something different and discover it for the first time. We are now familiar enough to get to where we want without referring to the deck plan and making wrong terms, although we still get a bit confused on what side of the ship we are on when we return to the room. We were worried about going during the school holidays, but there haven't been that many kids around. I guess that's because the ship lacks the water slides and other features that the more family orientated ships tend to have. If it gets too crowded, then we're really fortunate that we can always disappear into the retreat. This retreat though is a lot more crowded than the ones on the Solstice class ships, but we've always been able to find a space and enjoy a relaxing read or drink. The North Sea is usually calm. And as you come in, you pass by a number of small islands, largely deserted, apart from the odd bird. There's also the odd wooden hut or house dotted along the journey. It makes a scenic and serene experience. Then, as you get nearer to the city, you start to see more of the blend of traditional and modern architectures that punctuate the landscape. We will be mooring in the central harbour which is next to the old part of Stavanger and it's a very easy walk from there to get into the city. We're on our way to breakfast as we arrive in Stavanger and today we will be going on a destination tour of Lys Fjord, which will be fun. And the view from Lumine was superb over the lovely bridges. We've had breakfast and are making our way towards the meeting point and to go on to the excursion. And the excursion we're going on is a cruise, would you believe? We're actually in Stavanger and Stavanger is known for its cobblestones, its white wooden houses and uh, it has a very old cathedral which was done in I think 10,015 AD but we probably won't see much of Stavanger as the weather is atrocious it's uh, uh, started raining already and it's rain forecast for most of the rest of the day yep Stavanger is consistent isn't it and this is our first look at Stavanger when we went down the ramp it had actually cleared up a bit but that was very short-lived as within a few seconds of actually being in front of the ship the heavens opened even more so than they had before and we were getting absolutely drenched. This is the view of the old town immediately in front of where the ship was moored. No coaches or buses for this particular shore excursion as we will be taking a short walk 
to a little bit further down in the harbour where we will pick up the boat that will take us on our Lysford cruise. And I like these types of uh, excursions because you get to pass by the ship that you're on and it gives you some really good views of the ship itself. So this excursion is to Lysfjord, which is a popular scenic fjord approximately 15 miles from Stavanger. The name means light fjord and is probably because of the light granite rocks that can be seen along the sides. It's around 26 miles long, although we will only be doing a section of the fjord. We started our excursion at 9 o'clock. The ship on board time is 14.30 and we're hoping to have a bit of a wander around Stavanger before boarding and departure. guides were locals and quite a laugh really we had a lot of banter with them while we were waiting for the party to collect and before we actually went on the excursion I don't know whether it was because of the weather, it was still raining at this time, or because no one had explicitly told us that we could go outside, but everybody remained in the cabin and tried to make out the views through the drizzle on the windows. Our guide gave us a commentary describing the history of Stavanger. Fortunately, the sun came out, well, sort of, and the skies cleared a bit, and they announced on the tannoy that we could now go outside. It was a real welcome change from being in the cabin. We love the Norwegian scenery. There is a fantastic contrast between the lush green trees and the craggy granite rocks. We take in tiny uninhibited islands and also rising cliffs. These are interspersed by little pockets of civilization, lone huts, the odd boat shed and little fishing villages. To me, these really underline the focus on outdoor life that Norway is renowned for. It is something that is very different to our day-to-day -day lives, which is exactly why we love it. Norway is one of our favourite cruise locations of all times. We're now at a place called Forsand, which is at the mouth of the Lysfodden Fjord. Lysfjord is both long and narrow. It is the southernmost of Norway's big fjords. And whilst we are at the moment in a quite shallow area, it's around 30 metres, 
it does get considerably deeper as you traverse the fjord. In some places it's as deep as the cliffs are high, which can be up to 400 meters. The Lasfjord Bridge is a cable stayed suspension bridge. It's about 640 meters wide and about 50 meters above sea level. It spans the fjord for 440 meters and is the only way of crossing the fjord other than by boat. It was built between 1995 and 1997 and was awarded the most beautiful road award in 1999. You don't have to take a boat to get to the Lazo Fjord, you can actually get here by car and from Stavanger it takes 45 minutes to an hour to get here. The area is home to a very diverse set of wildlife and that includes seals, sea eagles and porpoises. There are lots of activities to do in the area. Popular activities tend to be about exploring off the beaten track and there are many iconic trails. These can be travelled by biking, horse riding, hiking, kayaking, as well as taking a fjord boat cruise as we are. The area is home to both fish farms, farming salmon through some interesting new techniques, and also mussel farms, which we passed on our way along the fjord. Fantahalla, or as it's otherwise known, Vagabond's Cave, is a small mountain cave and a popular attraction for boats. It's surrounded by some very dramatic cliffs and it has a nickname which has been derived from a popular story about a group of vagabonds who sought shelter whilst on the run from the local police for not paying their taxes. The cave is quite difficult to see. The entrance is a narrow fissure and once in it's very sheltered. It's an ideal nesting location for many different species of birds, including kestrels and peregrine falcons. It was great seeing this mountain goat, it's almost as if he'd come down to see us off.
In this cruise we will not be taking in all the sights of the fjord as time does not permit. There are a couple of interesting locations we will unfortunately miss. They are the Lisvigan Road, a popular yet dangerous 20 mile long road leading to leading to Lisbotten. It has 27 hairpin turns, reverse cambers, steep inclines, is very narrow at times, features a curved narrow tunnel, is open only half of the year and closes if it snows. I'm sure Joanne would love it. We will also miss Fleury, a popular hiking location known for its 4,444 steps up the mountain the longest wooden stairway in the world. One of the natural features that Lysifrod is known for and that attracts tourists to the area is Pulpit Rock, which is also known as Prastolen. It is one of Norway's most famous natural landmarks. This steep, flat-topped cliff rises around 2,000 feet above the fjord. From the top you get stunning panoramic views of the fjord and surrounding mountains. The flat, square-shaped cliff was formed during the last ice age, around 10,000 years ago, when glacial ice cracked off large blocks of rock. Looking up from the fjord, the towering cliffs, including pulpit rock, look very impressive. This is also one of the deeper parts of the fjord. Pulpit rock gets its name from its likeness to a preacher's pulpit, and is a popular destination for hikers. The trail to the top is circa a five mile round trip, and once there, visitors are rewarded with stunning views and the dramatic drop straight down to the fjord below. The platform measures around 80 feet square, provides ample space for tourists to explore and enjoy the scenery. It's a fantastic spot for an Instagram-worthy photo. Today, we admired it from the boat, looking up at its impressive heights. The rock has also featured in several movies and TV shows. One of the most notable was in Mission Impossible Fallout in 2018. And though the scene was set in Kashmir, it was actually filmed here. A short journey from Pulpit Rock is the Hagen Yossen Waterfall. I think that's how you pronounce it. Although it's not an officially named waterfall, and that's what it goes by. And it's a well known and well visited tourist location and also a very popular spot for many of the fjord boat cruises. The waterfall is about 400 meters above the fjord and the power of the waterfall is directly dictated by the amount of rain or meltwater that has occurred. It's usually at its most copious in the springtime. Our captain navigated around the waterfall and then decided to manoeuvre the bow to be directly beneath it.
the captain then took the boat over to the other side of the fjord where there was another waterfall that we had a quick look at before moving swiftly on. Actually, the day's brightened up quite a bit and the sun is out. However, the real problem is the wind factor. It is extremely windy. And whilst we're wrapped up fairly well up top, our hands are getting absolutely frozen. We've been out now for probably a couple of hours. The weather has been quite subdued since our fjord cruise began. It's been a bit overcast, but thankfully it hasn't rained that much. This has allowed us to stay out on the deck and fully take in the beauty of this stunning location. While we've admired landmarks like Pulpit Rock, the rest of the journey has also been equally unforgettable. With its incredible rugged cliffs, deep waters and lush green forests. heading towards a small island which has some pretty high cliffs but there's also a small jetty and a building. I believe this is where we're going to actually stop and have some lunch. just come ashore and we are now having a waffle. I can't see. We can have a waffle, we can have a waffle. This is the La Fjord Helleran restaurant and despite the name it's not actually on the small island of Helleran, but rather on a totally different island that overlooks Helleran. I believe from a smallish outcrop jutting into the fjord just to the east. This spot of lunch was included in our boat cruise and we dined on waffles served with strawberry jam and cream. It wasn't the warmest of dishes, but the waffles were really delicious. To one side of the restaurant there was a small pebble beach where people had created some rock stacks. That's where rocks are stacked one on top of the each other, delicately balanced without any adhesive or support. I don't know if this is a form of meditation or just some artistic statement, 
but they do look rather nice. Something, to be honest, I wouldn't have the patience for. Join us in our next vlog as we leave Lassefjord and explore Stavanger before boarding the ship. Thank you.